Hey YouTube, it's Adam for FXC79.com, and uh, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a uh, Minecraft alpha server. Um, this is going to be a survival multiplayer server. Um, if you don't know what Minecraft is, um, it's an incredibly addictive game. Just go to Minecraft.net. This video really doesn't show any of it, but uh, C Nanners, Mr. Phantasmo, uh, Captain Sparkles, these are all YouTube guys who do uh, commentaries over this uh game and it is absolutely amazing it's so addicting it's like 13 bucks right now because it's an alpha so if you want to check it out make sure you do that now um i've been playing it for a while now and uh a bunch of my friends and i play on uh smp so yeah i'm gonna show you how to set a server up so you and your friends can play um first thing you're gonna need is some server software uh this is my favorite it's mc admin they do provide uh default software for you on the downloads page but I don't really like it that much, it's not that great. Um, so, download MC Admin, link is in the more info. Just download the zip file and uh, extract it to your desktop or really wherever you want. <sighs> hate this thing. Okay. Alright, now we'll extract it to the desktop. And just go to your desktop and it should uh, give you these three files. So, we're just going to put these in a folder real quick called MC Admin. And uh, you can do this on a dedicated computer too, or you can do it on just your normal computer that you'll use. But uh, keep in mind that it will do a lot of stress and you won't be able to do as many things when you're running the server, especially when other people are connected. So um, the second thing we have to do is uh, open up some ports. So basically we're going to go to your start menu and type in CMD for command prompt and type in IP config. Oops. Alright, and now we're going to go up to these uh, five, I just failed at counting, uh, five things right here, and uh, it should be under wireless LAN adapter, wireless network connections, blah blah blah, it's right here. Um, basically you're going to get the default gateway address, uh, that's for me 192.168.2.1, uh, depends on your browser, you may need um, a different address than I have but I have a Belkin, so that's what they said it is. Just check uh, Google, just Google your router. And then what you're gonna do is find something that's like virtual servers or um, port opening, open ports, uh, just Google it, and you'll find where you need to go to open some ports. As you can see, I already have it set up, so I'm not gonna do it again. And then these two, which I need to get rid of. Um, but if you're running the MC admin, um, server, you're going to need to open up uh, ports 255.65 to 255.66 uh, TCP. Um, and then for this box right here, you're going to need your computer's uh, local IP address. So we're going to search for the, we're going to grab the IPv4 address. On this computer, it's uh, 0.10, but on the other computer, which is a de dedicated server, it's uh, 13. So I'm just going to leave it at that so it runs on the right computer. Oops, that was in the right one. There we go. Um, and then just add the ports again here. I think with Minecraft, uh, the, the default server software they gave you, it's like 255.60. I think it's just this server, this port, but I'm not sure on that. You'll have to check. So um, they'll tell you which ones to open uh, with each server. Um, so once you open the ports, what we're going to do is hit, up, hit Apply Changes. Then we can close out of the browser. We don't need it anymore. We'll close out of this too. And we're going to open the admin software for the first time. And it uh, should check for updates. And once it's done, you'll have a few new files uh, from your first run. Uh, you'll have backups, kits, messages, mods, and server. And don't edit this. Uh, it probably won't be editable for you. Um, just don't edit it. You don't want to do that with this. Um, you can go into messages and change the messages for like when people enter your lobby and stuff. Um, also fill that with mods that you need, um, kits. Uh, MC Admin handles most of it, so I'll show you that. If you go to server props, you can hit auto detect and it will detect your IP address and add that to the server um, file. This is what this edits the server file. It's like in a GUI format, so um, don't go editing that. Edit it from here. Uh, you can change the ports that you need to open in case something you need to change it for some reason. You can change it to like, that really doesn't do anything, but it, you know, it's there. Uh, you can change the level name, also doesn't do anything, but it's there. You can change the max players, default rank, the assigned memory. 
you know, auto save any or auto save backup, blah blah blah. Uh, you can en enable or disable monsters, and that's all there for you. Um, then you can edit the player ranks, so admin, operator, whatever. Um, rank config, you can say uh, which rank is. You should probably just leave those alone uh, unless you're uh, more. Uh, experience user, you can IP ban people, um, you can add kits for people to use, and you can set limited blocks so that people can't spawn those, because um, as you can tell, those might be potentially harmful to your server if people were to abuse them. Um, command levels, this shows what certain levels can use, so like commands, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You can install mods from here, there's only this one for now, but you can get more online and back up now and save now. Um, so you also in other servers you may need like an items.txt file which will show you um, which which each uh, excuse me which each uh, uh, item is that you can spawn and what its number is because usually you have to type in like slash give then the number of the item then the, the number of the items that you want if that makes any sense but in here you, you would just type something like this you would type give TNT 64 so you type the uh, exclamation point give then the name of the item then the number of items that you want and so it handles all that for you which is why I like it a lot um, so we're gonna go ahead and start the uh, software and it's going to start generating the world folder so you can see it started doing that um, and this will just uh, prepare the randomly generated level um, and take care of that the save file will stay here, um, so other people will technically just be accessing it from uh, other computers when they log into your server. So, um, yeah, it might also generate these banned IPs and banned uh, players things. Um, also, ops. So, yeah, you can put yourself in there and always be ready to go when you log in and not have any issues. So it's done. Now it's ready to go. Now, um, how you would get people to connect is you're going to go back onto the internet real quick waiting 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 anyways you're gonna find your uh, public IP address now, this is not the one that you would use inside your router it's not that 192 point whatever so we're gonna go to what's my IP dot net and I'm gonna blur out mine but yours which should say like two numbers dot two numbers dot three numbers dot two numbers you give that to other people, they type it in when they open up Minecraft. And basically when they open it up, they go to uh, multiplayer. And then they just type that in there and they'll be able to connect. And you'll be able to manage that from here and uh, use commands and everything. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.